بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیسٹ اللہ السلام علیکم آج کے لیکچر میں ہم چیپٹر نمبر فور کے نمیریکلز جو ہیں ان کو سالو کرتے ہیں فرسٹ نمیریکل ایز فور پنٹ ون اور دی سٹیٹمنٹ ایز ایم مین پوشیز آلون موور ویڈ آ فورٹی نیوٹن فورس ڈائریکٹر ایٹ اینگل آف ٹوٹی ڈگری ڈاؤنورڈ فرام دی ہوریزنٹل فائنڈ دی ورک ڈن بائی دی مین ایز ہی کٹس ا سٹریپ آف گراس ٹوٹی میٹر لانگ تو سٹیٹمنٹ میں ہمیں فورٹی نیوٹن فورس بتائی گئی ہے جو کہ اینگل ٹوٹی ڈگری بنا رہی ہے ویڈ ہوریزنٹل ویڈ ایکس ایکسز اور جو لان موور ہے that covers a displacement of 20 meter ok so the given data is applied force F is equal to 40 newton angle is 20 degree and the length of strip of gross that is equal to D this is equal to 20 meters so we know that the work is equal to F dot D this is equal to F D cos of theta and putting the values of force, displacement and theta we have the value of work is 7.5 into 10 raised to power 2 joules so this is the work done in this case so next is numerical number 4.2 the statement of the numerical is a rain drop whose mass is equal to 3.35 into 10 raised to power minus 5 kilogram falls vertically at a constant speed under the influence of the forces of gravity and friction in falling through 100 meter how much work is done by gravity and second is friction a grain drop is our pass which is 3.35 into 10 raise per minus 5 kilogram which is vertically downward fall up to a distance or height of 100 meters The question is asked about the work done by the gravity and by the friction. So in this case, we are given that mass of drop m is equal to 3.35 into 10 per minus 5 kilogram. Height, vertical distance which the drop covers on falling is 100 meter. We have to find work done by gravity wg or the work done by friction wf. So as we know that the work done by gravity that is equal to F dot H because F dot D we know that the state where the mathematical relation for the work is F dot D but in this case D is the H height and this is F dot H and the drop is falling vertically downward and weight F is actually is equal to the weight weight is the gravitational force and the angle between the force and displacement is zero because mass is falling vertically downward and weight is also directed downward and the distance covered is also downward so force or weight and the displacement that is equal to h are parallel so h where theta will be zero so as gravitational force is along the displacement therefore angle between mg mg is the weight here the force is equal to the gravitational force the gravitational pull that is equal to mg weight of the body and h is 0 so wg is equal to mg h cos of 0 cos 0 1 of the mare pass and putting the values of mass gravitational acceleration and height we have the value of the work done is 0.0328 joule this is the work done by the gravitational force so second part of the question is work done by friction so as the frictional force is against the movement of the drop the displacement h is downward but the direction of the frictional force is upward because the frictional force is always against the direction of the motion the drop is moving vertically downward so the, the direction of the friction will be upward so the angle between the frictional force and the height or the displacement will be 180 so the work done by friction is wf is equal to f dot h 
this is f h cos of theta and theta in this case is 180 and cos 180 is equal to minus 1 so the work done by friction is w f is equal to minus f h and h is the height and also in this case the frictional force is equal to the weight of the body that is equal to mg so the frictional force is equal to minus mg h and this will be equal to minus 0 0.0328 joules so in this case the frictional force is equal to the gravitational force but opposite in direction in the statement was that under the constant speed it means there is no acceleration so that's why in this case no net force is acting upon because the downward force is equal to the upward force so the work done by gravitational force is equal to 0.0328 joule and work done by the frictional force is equal to minus 0.0328 joule with negative sign so the both uh, work done are equal in magnitude and this is minus sign shows that this is work done by the frictional force next is question number 4.3 and the statement of the question is 10 bricks each 6 cm thick and mass 1.5 kg lie flat on a table how much work is required to stack them one on the top of another so this is the statement of the question number 3 in which this mein hamare paas 10 jo hain wo inte hain jisme har inch ki jo unchai hai wo 6 cm hai aur uske har ek ki mass jo hai wo 1.5 kg hai agar hum un tamam inton ko ek dusre ke upar rakhe to how much work is required to stack them one on an other in this case the mass of each brick is equal to m is equal to 5.5 kg height of each brick h is equal to 6 cm that is equal to 0 0.06 meters and number of bricks is 10 so no work will be done on the first brick lying flat on the table jaisa ki for pehli joint hogi agar hum uski baat kare to wo already wahan pe maujood hai isliye hame us eent ko jo hai rakhne mein no work is required okay lekin jab hum dekhe this is the first first brick this is already uh, put on the table jab hum dusri eent ko iske upar rakhenge to hame jo height jo hai wo cover karni padegi that will be 0.06 meters isi tarah ab jo dusri eent hai usko jab hum rakhenge ya teesri eent ko to hame do eento ki unchai pe use rakhna padega okay ek 6 cm ye aur 6 cm ye hai theek hai ji isi tarah third ke liye fourth third ke liye hame jo height jo hai wo cover karni padegi that will be 3h so in the first case work done is zero because hame jo eent hai usko hame kisi height pe nahi rakhna we have to put on the horizontal so w2 w1 is equal to zero so w2 will be equals to mgh cos of zero okay mgh cos of zero this is mgh ab height kitni hai isme 6 cm pehli eent ko jab humne dusri eent ko pehli eent pe rakhna hai to hame jo kaam karna padega wo mgh hoga that is equal to the potential energy actually the work done is stored as potential energy similarly the work done in putting the three third brick that is equal to mg2h basically hame do height jo hai wo cross karni padegi jo hame distance cover karna padega height that is 2h similarly w4 for the fourth brick that is 3mgh for 5 6 7 and so on so and the total work done will be equal to the work done by the individual brick placing on one another so total work is w is equal to w1 w2 plus w3 so on so w10 w1 is equal to 0 w2 is equal to mgh w3 is equal to 2 mgh and so on so if we can add up to 45 mgh and m is known that is 1.5 kg h is 0 0.06 meters g is actually 9.8 so putting the values of m g and h we have the total work done that is equal to 
six nine joule, which is approximately equal to forty joule. So this work forty joule we have to done to place the bricks on one another with the height of six centimeter and mass of each brick is one point five kilogram. Next is question number four, and the statement of the question is. A car of mass 800 kg traveling at 44 km per hour is brought to rest in 60 meters. Find the average retarding force on the car. What has happened to the original kinetic energy? So, statement में हमें ये मालूम हो रहा है कि हमारे पास एक कार है जिसकी मास 800 kg है, जो कि initially 44 km per hour की velocity से move कर रही है, और finally वो rest में आती है, रुक जाती है. उसकी वेलोसिटी जो फाइनल है वो जीरो हो जाएगी आफ्टर कवरिंग द डिस्टेंस ऑफ 60 मीटर्स क्योंकि कार पहले मूव कर रही थी उसकी कनेक्टिक एनर्जी भी थी ओके okay? और बाद में वो कार जब रेस्ट की सूरत में आ रही है इसके मतलब उस पर कोई ऑपोजिशन में फोर्स लग रही है रिटार्डिंग फोर्स जो फोर्स हमने मालूम करनी है एंड वी हैव टू टेल अबाउट द कनेटिक एनर्जी आफ्टर द कार हैज स्टॉप कम टू रेस्ट So the data given is mass of the car m is equal to 800 kilogram. Initial velocity is 54 kilometer per hour. Just come change करेंगे meter per second में kilometer की जगह हम लिखेंगे thousand meters kilo की जगह पे और one hour में हमारे पास होते हैं 3600 seconds. So we have the velocity 15 meter per second. That that is the initial velocity of the car. Final velocity zero because car comes to at rest. After covering the distance that is 60 meter, okay. So initial velocity is this one, final velocity is zero, and the distance covered is 60 meter. We have to find the retarding force. Retarding force is liye hai, because car ke opposition mein force lag rahi hai moment mein, because wo car at the end ruk rahi hai. So uh, by the work energy principle, we know that work done F D that is equal to change in the kinetic energy. So F D is equal to half m V F square. This is the final kinetic energy, and this is the minus kinetic uh, initial kinetic energy. So F D is equal to one by two m V F square minus V I square. So putting so putting the values of displacement, distance covered, final velocity zero, initial velocity was 15 meter per second square uh, meter per second. We have the value of the force that is equal to minus 1500 newton. So this is the value of The retarding force. Here, the negative sign shows that it is a retarding force because it is acting against the motion of the car. This is the retarding force or the resistive force. Similarly, we have been asked that what happened to the kinetic energy of the car? कि जब car initially move कर रही थी उसकी velocity थी इसके मतलब उसके पास kinetic energy थी लेकिन जब कार जो है वो रुक जब रुक रही है आफ्टर द एक्शन ऑफ द रिटार्डिंग फोर्स इट मीन उसकी वेलोसिटी क्या हो रही है जीरो हो रही है तो डेफिनेटली उसकी जो कनेटिक एनर्जी एट दैट वो जीरो हो जाएगी सो एज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द कार इज डिक्रीजिंग सो इट्स कनेटिक एनर्जी आल्सो डिक्रीजेस एंड बिकम जीरो ड्यू टू द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इट मींस द कार इज बीइंग एट रेस्ट आफ्टर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द रिटार्डिंग फोर्स कार जो है हमारे पास वो रेस्ट की हालत में आ रही है अगर रेस्ट की हालत में आ रही है तो इसका मतलब उसकी जो फाइनल वेलोसिटी वो जीरो है इसका मतलब कनाटिक एनर्जी जीरो है सो ग्रेजुअली कार की जो है वो कनाटिक एनर्जी या उसकी जो वेलोसिटी वो कम होते होते एट द एंड वो जीरो पे आ जाती है और कनाटिक एनर्जी कम होते होते वो भी फाइनल क्या हो जाती है वो जीरो है सो द रिटार्डिंग फोर्स इज माइनस फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड न्यूटन एंड द फाइनल कनाटिक एनर्जी बिकम जीरो वेन द कार स्टॉप सो दिस दिस वर द फोर न्यूमेरिकल्स If you have any query or any problem about this you can easily ask thank you very much